Hi guys, I'm Ryan Houston and welcome to my Fly Tying channel. If your video is about to start shortly, please take this opportunity to hit the like button down below, leave some comments, tell your friends. Interaction, likes, subscriptions help my channel to grow and help me to keep producing content for yourselves. If you're new to my channel, check out the other videos that I've got. There are over 500 videos at this stage, so there should be something there for everybody. Again, video is about to start. Hit that like button down below. Hi guys, welcome to part two of tying our Jack Scott. So we're going to put on the wing now, and we're going to attempt to put it on in one go. Uh, so this fly has an underwing, which is a white tip turkey. So I'm going to take the tip here of uh, a turkey flat, and I'm tying this fly tips down. Uh, so you'll hear classic fly dressers talk about tips up and tips down. So essentially. And said, if I'm looking at the feather uh, like this, this bit, so the shiny side is pointing towards you. So this would be uh, my far wing, and this, when I flip it over, would be my near wing. The idea is that here is that we're utilizing the natural tendency of the feather to curve to keep the wing set low. So what I've done here is I've taken. Uh, the different materials and we take a slip off so uh, this is my near wing so I'm going to take a strip off that if we flip the feather over this is going to be your side so I'm going to take off a strip something the same size for that so that's going to form the core of my wing I'm going to put the two of these together and essentially, you know, we'll create a wing slip. We're going to build the other bits onto this here, uh, and then set it on. Hopefully, it won't go. So I'm going to set that down, and then we'll talk about the other bits that go on here. So we have uh, red, yellow, and blue swan. Uh, we have grey mallard. We have bustard, and we have golden pheasant tail. So all of these fibers here I have in a bunch and I'm not marrying them together. Uh, I'm literally setting them on with the longest stuff at the top, so the bustard and the golden pheasant, uh, and then the shorter stuff I will put on the well below it or in the case of the mallard here what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it outside of it so I'm going to match it down here uh, and pinch it together so you can see here I have the different coloured slips these they're not exactly married together you can see the point out and you can see that the tips are pointing down which is not probably what a lot of people are used to uh, and then I'm going to set that then on the outside of this. I'm going to pinch it all together and then try and apply it in one go. So I'm going to set that wing down. And I have a matching one then for my side or the near side. So the same thing, I'll take the bunches, set them roughly in the order that I want them to be. I'll put the and the links. Take the mallard. Set the mallard on the outside. So now I have another bunch created. The idea here is that these, all these different colours should, because I haven't married them together as such, they should sort of act independently in the water, hopefully. So I'm going to set that down as well. And then I'm going to get some uh, peacock sword and I'm going to apply that to the centre portion of the wing. A bunch of that off. 
I'm just going to put a bit of a put mini L into it and put a little bit of a curve into it so that it holds a shape for me. I'm going to set that on top of my uh, turkey center tail. I'm going to set my near wing outside of that. So it's always it's like sandwich layers, I suppose. Set that on there. And then I'm going to take the other wing, which is your wing. And it's quite fiddly, by the way, all this. So I'm going to set that then as like a skin on the other side. Watch those tips. Kind of trying to keep the uh, the peacock curl somewhere in the center of it to try and control it a bit. So now I have this wing bundle. So to the wing, I'm then going to add some bronze mallard. So I'm going to take a little slip from matching feathers roughly, and then same thing again, tips down approach to it. This one is just a little, little bit but we'll just marry them back together. Take the wing bunch, set that mallard again on the side of that and then take the slip for the other side. So now we have our wing, so we've got our uh, mallard roof, I suppose, um, and all the other components of it sort of contained within it in various sort of sandwiched layers. Take the fly, measure the wing up onto it, so it's going to be sort of the length of the tail roughly here. Just going to center everything. Pinch that, do a pinched loop, and take it round underneath, and then sort of tighten that down. Take thin cilier clear and I am going to take a little blob and I'm putting it into those cut ends there. Allowing that to soak in. And wrap down over them. Few, few bits just to finish the fly off. Uh, so we need uh, to have jungle cock. So I'm going to take a couple of smallish jungle cock here. Put one on on either side. 
much to roughly for length there. We then have little kingfisher cheeks. Then a topping over overall. and a couple of horns. So horns, we're using a blue gold macaw here. So I'm just going to take one fiber off each side if you have a center or if you have two matching side tails, one from each. sort of match them up for length of their tips and the position sort of that they're sitting on the head and therefore they'll cross each other at the same length. And that is the tie-in of the fly dom, we just need to finish the head. somehow on the bottom, but anyway, there we go.
So we're going to get the thin varnish there just to penetrate the head. And then it'll need a few other coats as we go along. But that is our Kelson Jock Scott for fishing. So uh, hopefully you like what you see. If you did, give us a like, subscribe, tell your friends, check out the other videos on the channel. And until next time, tight lines. And thanks for watching.